to spend the next three days out here in the Bahamas remote camping on a secluded island. Hey, Nikki and Sarah, you here? We're here. Woo! In this video, we are paddling out to a remote area on the ocean, camping overnight for three days, building a bushcraft fort, and we find ourselves covered in sand fleas and lost at sea. We're a little lost! Did I mention we're in the Bermuda Triangle? This is Nikki Dalenthal, an adventure enthusiast known for traveling in a Prius. Yep, you heard that right, a Prius. And now, a camper van with her dogs. She's got some of the best energy around, and when we called her one week ago to ask if she wanted to come camping the Bahamas, without any hesitation, she said yes. And she brought along her cousin Sarah. We're hitting our first current. Yes, we're sea kayaking. Through the current, everyone. Paddle hard left. I'm gonna be jacked after this. First current, here we go. Woo, you did it. Crushing. We are paddling the Exuma Keys, located in the Bahamas. It consists of a chain of 365 islands called Keys. The Keys arc to the southeast for about 130 miles. You could explore a new one each day. The turquoise waters surrounding the islands are so stunning, their colors are visible from outer space. Here, nature outnumbers man. Coastlines remain flawless and the footprint-free beaches are deserted. Van wives, back there. <laughs> I'm so tired. Not only are we going against currents and rips in this ocean, but we're also going against the wind. Sea kayaking is a whole new experience. Part of all this is navigating. Jasmine's actually currently walking us. That's the glory of the Bahamas, people. But because the water is more shallow, it means the current is stronger. You can hear it between my legs. It's wild. The current is super strong. It looks a lot stronger than it is. And this is in not a strong area. So you can imagine the swell. This is not a strong area? No, you can imagine the swell gets quite a bit more wicked when you're out near the open ocean. Cause right now we're currently in between two land pieces. But yeah, like Jasmine said, this water coming through here quite shallow going in one direction makes it pretty tough. Yes, we are kayaking in the Bermuda Triangle, which is a loosely defined region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean. It is infamous for being the site of numerous mysterious disappearances of ships and aircraft. While many of these claims have been debunked or explained by natural phenomena, the Bermuda Triangle has captured the imagination of many, and the fascination has become associated with various myths and conspiracy theories. This is easily one of the most beautiful places I have ever kayaked, hands down. Stunning. So I've got my phone hiding under here because it's so damn hot out here. Walkie talkie for quick access. And this is our waterproof map. And you can see up here, that's very much where we're heading tonight. Somewhere exactly like that. Somewhere in there on a little bay. You're gonna love it. We are starting our kayak launch from Georgetown. And to give you perspective, it took us a long time to get down here to the Bahamas. And now the real adventure begins. We are headed out from Georgetown into the Kays. They're actually pronounced Keys down here in the Bahamas, but it looks like it's Kays. So I'm probably gonna say Kays or Keys, but you know what I mean. They are a group and a chain of islands that are separated by sandbars, and it is super, super beautiful out here in this tropical paradise. Girls, it's getting pretty rough. Should we make this a hike? We're already hiking, girl. Over. Right on. As we get closer to camp and become surrounded in the natural beauty of the Bahamas, it's confirmed that our mission to get here was worth it. We started with a 4.30 a.m. flight, jumping to the next plane, half asleep, to the capital of Nassau, where we then got on the smallest plane we've ever been to, all the way to Georgetown. We jumped in Dallas's truck and off we went to launch. Don't get lost out there. Roger that. <laughs> all right, everyone, we made it through that second channel. We're getting better. Look at that sandbar right here. We gotta go over it and all the way to that island. They're going through the sandbar. We're paddling. Let's see who wins. Got sweat dripping into my eyes. I can't even see. Last take Christo, she's doing all the work. It's burning my eyeballs. 
I got a sweatband for out here, you know? That would've been smart. Looks like we're in the lead. We're almost in line with them. <laughs> with the late start and the wrong turn. We honestly almost are. Follow the buoys. Everyone. Follow the buoys. We're looking like we're at literally at the same spot as them, which is hilarious because we went all the way around. Let's see who gets there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Came to a dead stop. Let's back it up. Oh, Crystal, bad call there, they Captain. They might be there before us. Let's go. Let's they're go. definitely going to be there before us. They had a head start and they're just trucking. This is a close race, everyone. They're currently swimming and pushing their kayak in deep water. And we've caught right up to them. If not, our tip of our kayak is just ahead. Who's going to win? Go, Crystal, go. Crushing. We're almost there, everyone. We're almost there. I can almost touch it. Made it! Good work! All right, now we gotta find out where to put our camp. We gotta find a good spot. And we don't want the tide to take us away. I'm nervous. I definitely in the bushes. Back there, you know? Yeah, I think up there. First off, this is so beautiful. Second, tide definitely comes up to here. So we're gonna have to do something back here for camp. It's also a perfect spot because the sun is setting that way, as you can see. So right here, we will have the sun rise with us tomorrow morning, everyone. It's gonna be spectacular. And before we know it, it's looking like we have a winner. You guys think we're safe up here? I think so. We don't want our method of transportation to go away on us. Yeah, we gotta take it further. Okay. All right, teamwork makes the dream work. What do you guys say we take a little salt water bath? A little salt water shower. Van life, baby. Picking daisies in the shade, golden sunshine lemonade. Feeling good, I'm catching rays. <laughs> wow, you're so good at that. It's my inner mermaid. <laughs> I love the Bahamas. This water is essential. I'm a really bad shark. Oh, yeah, you gotta do this. <laughs> that is terrifying. That water is perfection. And like every water sport, now we're hungry. We're gonna have a snack and then set up the camp. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I needed this so bad. Here you go, ladies. Thank you so much. This way, right? Mom, we're trying to decide which way we want our doors <laughs> facing the water, the dunes. I just looked up from tent building, my custom oh, home, and the oh, sun God. set. I cannot believe that we're sleeping here tonight. This is gonna be an incredible few days. We put them in a it's looking very homey, I have to say. This house is pretty big. Must keep our front door shut because the noceums are out in full blast right now. We're all itching. Itching McGee. Now that would have been a funny start to the day tomorrow. Some paddles left on the beach where the tide comes up. <laughs> Welcome to camp. We're all set up and we're all the way back here and the ocean is all the way that way because the tide could sneakily come up and we're really crossing our fingers that it doesn't and that we're far enough back. Feeling pretty confident. We're first timers. Just kidding, one. Nikki's a professional. <laughs> Second time, baby. That's why she's raging. Wait, no, Nikki. I lied. Fourth, I don't know how many times I've camped on the beach. She's a real professional. Ranger Nikki. Ranger Nikki here, ready to take you on an expedition around the Bahamas. Over and out, let's go. Also, we should just give a huge props and round of applause to Sarah, because this is her very first time camping. She's doing it in the Bahamas. Ever. Round of applause! Ever. Let her rip, honey. Our first meal at camp is being cooked. Woo! I can't wait to eat! And we rolled up with a good old bag of beans in a Ziploc bag because we learned that from Outdoor Boys and Uncle Ben's. 
We are getting eaten by, oh, there you see one. You can hardly see them. And that's why they call them no see -ums. They're so small and they get you good. We don't have headlamps. Good thing for modern day iPhones, honey. <laughs> right. Dinner's served. That's the star of the show, the bag of the beans. I go on. Bag of beans. I love the smell of beans. Anyone else? Uh, yeah. <laughs> love it. My favorite smell. Cheers. Cheers. Crystal, you've already dug in? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> All of it's coming in. Ah! <laughs> I should have forewarned you I was coming in. I actually took the biggest bite. I think I have a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go check the tide. It's still pretty low. We did check the tide chart and I think it's just starting to come up now, reaching the highest tide at 11.30 p.m. So fingers crossed, we're good. What time is it? It's only 9.50. Oh. Our camp is where the second light is, everyone. Everything is seriously soaking wet right now. Yeah, it's such an interesting thing. After it being so dry all day, the last thing I expected was for everything, like my clothes are wet right now. Yeah. It feels weird that we're going to bed all wet. I know. <laughs> and if you're wondering why everything's so wet, it's because the humidity is extremely high here in the Caribbean, sometimes reaching 97% and this is year round. It is a totally different climate than we're used to. It's tropical. This is what you get. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Waking up this morning was an absolute dream. If someone told me I could travel the Bahamas this way, I probably wouldn't believe them until I experienced it myself. This has been such a special experience. Unzipping the tent this morning to absolutely nothing but solitude and nature is a feeling I really can't describe. I feel like our souls needed this more than we would ever have known. And I'm so happy to be here with new friends. And the feeling I'm describing is camping. Being back in a tent and being a little bit outside of our comfort zone is, like I've said in the past, where I feel growth happens. I loved putting ourselves to this challenge of kayaking after not doing it for so many years. And really and truthfully, Jazz and I used to camp a lot and we haven't camped in quite a while. So. It kind of feels like we're going back to our roots before the cabin, before the van, and that makes me happy. And it makes me so happy to see Jasmine enjoying it so much. I just have a lot of very happy feelings in my heart and my body this morning. I feel so alive, and I think it has a lot to do with all of what I've just listed, but also waking up, opening my eyes to the bright, beautiful sunshine, waking me up. <laughs> Sun is so important. No matter where you are, try and get outside for five minutes and look up at that sunshine. Even if it's cloudy, it still works. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> How was your sleep? Oh, fantastic. I slept well. Jazzy? Good, I slept till like nine. Nine a.m. In a tent. She's a nine a.m. or in a tent. Morning, everyone. Looks like you and I are getting out of the tent at nine a.m. That's cool. Before coffee, we need to wash the dishes. Got some water to rinse the dishes because we were lazy chefs last night. And you guessed it, this morning, a bag of oats. The wind has won this battle. Sad day. You can probably put it right back in the bowl. I'm trying. <laughs> Rescued. <laughs> Well. Breakfast makes me happy. Mm. I love warm apples. It's the small things out here. Instant coffee. That's good. That's very really good. You always laugh at me. Coffee is so good. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. If you don't know what this is, you can probably guess that after coffee, you've got to run to the bathroom. These bags are for just that. And we brought them along with us because it is not good to use 
the ground as a place to dig a hole, to go to the bathroom on an island in the Bahamas. We need to keep this area protected and clean. And a lot of these private islands are actually owned by other people who are allowing us to use them. Also, a lot of the Caribbean is really quite small and these islands are so pristine. The sand and the water, everything about it is so clean and beautiful and we really wanna keep it that way. So you gotta carry out what you drop, if you catch my drift. Mostly because it just won't break down the same as it does in some places. Bye. You gotta do what you gotta do, do. Wink, wink. <laughs> We're gonna share everything with you, including pooping in a bag. And although it's not for everyone, I gotta say, it's a lot easier than you think. I'm gathering some firewood for later tonight, as we got in a little late last night to do this. But before I'm bringing the sticks over, I'm checking it for scorpions. We learned that the scorpions out here aren't life-threatening, but if they do bite you, it is really going to hurt. I'm constantly looking through all of this wood to make sure they aren't in here, especially with the bark connected to it. I think I found the jackpot. Whoa. Yeah. Watch out for the birds, everyone. Because the days are so hot here at nighttime, it completely cools down and gets damp and you honestly feel chilly. So having a fire to keep warm and to keep things dry, I think is gonna help a lot tonight. And this is life on a deserted island. There's more, isn't there? I'm on the hunt for some taller logs and not for a fire. Try to make myself a cabana. And this building, time to hunt. I felt like I walked in circles. Well, because I did in the midday heat determined to build us a bushcraft shade shelter. I didn't find much in the way of logs or building materials, lots of sand, rocks, and more sand, and sun, of course. But looks like I found the jackpot. Ooh, this might work. That could work, that could work, and that could work. Hopefully this works. I just need twine. Okay, now we need more rope. You didn't think just because we were down in the Bahamas that we'd stop building, did ya? Jazz, how's it going? That is some good shade. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I built this with the limited resources on this island. She's got about a five by six foot square of shade here and it's right close to camp. I have to say I'm also impressed. You wanna come in? Oh yeah, we will be joining. Look at this masterpiece, Jazz. Watch out there. Wow, I shade. am impressed. Shade is so nice. <sighs> it's like 20 degrees cooler. cooler. Yeah. Wow. wow. I'm so come impressed. In you guys ah! are incredible builders. Look this, at that, Jazz. My first bushcraft. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think so. We've got a sweet shade set up and we've been staying hydrated. Now it's time to dive into that water and cool the heck off. Everyone come to my palace. This is my absolute favorite time of day when camping. This is the perfect most special time as the sun goes down. Thank you for spending another day in the Bahamas with us. Now come join us around the fire. Well, one, the wind is gonna keep away the bugs tonight. Two, they're gonna go directly to that fire because they think it's a flashlight. Woohoo. All right, Pac, if you haven't already subscribed to Nikki's channel, the first time we told you to, head on over to her channel right now. Thanks to the both of you. Also, if Sarah had a channel, I would tell you to go over there. It is kind of her channel, she edits. Damn, team teammates right there. <laughs> head on over and subscribe. And thank you both for coming on such a last minute adventure. Heck yeah. yeah. That's our style, we love Loved it. Loved it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> And go to the Bahamas and camp, because it's a dream. You don't need to stay in some luxurious resort. You can just stay in your own palace. Or just get a tent. <laughs>
We woke up to the sun, packed up our kayaks. Goodbye, deserted island. Did a team hydration. Chug, 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 chug. Does it matter? All right, everyone, we're a little lost. And that's because, well, we came here on low tide and now we're on high tide. So we think we came from that little area, but it's all land which is kind of confusing. Where is the opening? The thing about being lost on a kayak or anything that doesn't have a motor is it takes you an hour to check out one channel, and then an hour to go back, and then an hour to check out the next channel. This has happened to us before on a canoe in the Massasaga Provincial Park in Ontario. So we camped over here. We were going out here, which is the open ocean, and we need to go to this red dot. Because this area looks so different in high tide, actually, like a completely different place. So you have to really have an idea of which direction you're going. Compass would be handy. Good thing we have iPhones these days, because we're on our way home now. One, two, three. We did it! Oh, I, didn't say, I screamed first. Wait, do it again. And then we'll... One, two, three. We, we did it! Did it! 